Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and at the first of every month we do a special series which is called Styling Thrifted Decorations and I go and I collect stuff from all around town and different thrift stores and then we talk about what I found and how I'm going to use it. This is part four of the series and people are requesting it and really loving it so we're going to keep doing it. This is a very special one though because it's going to be all about Christmas. All right, so not only did I find decorations, I'm gonna show you some things that I got for gifts too, so a little bonus for you guys. So the first little gift I found is this beautiful knit romper with a little hood, and this is gonna be for my little niece. So I got that for $5. I got this cute container, set of containers, and different colors. It's really heavy. Um, I'm gonna actually give it to one of my friends who homeschools her kids. I thought she could do like colored pencils or something in there. Got some cute socks. These ones actually have hedgehogs on them and that's when I kind of was sold right there. So these are going in someone's stocking. This is a very sweet memo board. Um, it's a little, it has a few marks in it so I thought I'd take a magic eraser and see if I can't clean this up and then the sticker I'm gonna take off. So that was super chic. And I mean, I got it for one of my daughters who continues to reprint out calendars all the time. And I thought maybe she might like this. So this will be cute for her. And then her name's Abigail. I got her this mug. And then a couple days later after I bought it, <laughs> she said, I don't get people who like mugs. I don't really like mugs. So now I'm kind of scared to give it to her. Might keep it for myself. Okay, then another one. This is for my sister-in-law. This is Eddie Bauer, cute little mug. And this little um, weekly list, this I know is from Anthropology. So I thought that would be cute together. I also have a candle that is this pinky color. And so th th that's a little tip for gifts that you're thrifting. A lot of times if you can combine items that are like a same color or kind of a theme, then it looks like a $40 gift. So that I have a really beautiful candle and this mug and then this and it'll be a sweet gift for my sister-in-law. Okay, then I found this cute little caddy and it's Crabtree and Evelyn, which is one of my favorite toiletry brands out of England. But what I'm gonna turn it into is a gardening caddy for my little nieces and nephews and I'll show you um, what I, I have Joanna Gaines's new book, her little gardener book that I got like half off at at Hobby Lobby and so and a few other things I'm gonna combine all those and it's gonna be a little gardening set for my nieces and nephews okay then I got some just cute kitchen towels these were $1.99 each which honestly are I mean you would pay that at Ikea so I just got a couple of they feel brand new a couple of dish towels I'm gonna show, show you what I'm gonna do with those okay and then some really beautiful candles which I'm gonna pair up with those dish towels and they'll be good for like teachers gifts and the you know those like extra little gifts like little neighbors and things um, they're each gonna get one of these cute candles with a rolled up dish towel Okay, and one more thing before I move on to decorations. I found this darling coat. It has like the bell sleeves, cute back with a little pleat, um, really nice condition. And I got this for $6. So this is gonna be my coat that I wear on Christmas Eve with my little outfit that I've got planned. Okay, now on to the decorations. Ornaments, you're gonna see a lot of ornaments in the thrift stores and this is my recommendation for that. Stick to very neutral and I like very vintage looking ornaments. So I grabbed these, these look legit old. So these are, there's 10 and they're this yummy creamy color in this old box. I would love to know how old. 
So speaking of ornaments, I have some other things. I picked up a few of these cheesy um, snowflakes. They were actually free. This one I feel like looks like a paper cutout, so I got three of those and then some of these other little ones. We're gonna paint them and create a snow scene. All right, I got this book, Christmas book, and I even love, I mean, I could lay it on its side. You wanna find books that look good from the front, from the side, and it has this red ribbon. <laughs> And even, I opened it up and I even thought it was beautiful open. I mean, look at the holly on those pages. So this was a really great find. Next, I have red transferware. This actually has little strawberries on it, so I think it would be better for maybe summer. But I'm gonna just go ahead and use it in my Christmas decorations. So I got three matching little teacups and a little saucer, which doesn't match at all. But I got it for a dollar, so. Next step, I have fabric. So I've got this beautiful gray um, red plaid. I just felt like it was older looking. Some of the newer checks I feel like are too trendy, like too farmhousey looking. This one is a little bit more Victorian, which is kind of how I'm trying to lean now. And I think I'll make a couple pillows out of this. Then I got this one, which is a, it's almost a flannel. And I'm gonna try to make a lumbar pillow with ruffles. So I hope this turns out. Um, if it doesn't turn out, I'll just tell you. But that's my plan with this. All right, then I got a couple of these big hoops. Always, I always look through the sewing section just to see what kind of notions they have, to see you know, yarn and patterns and things. And I found these hoops. So we're gonna make something with these. And last but not least, I got a couple of chalkboards. And I'm gonna take these words off and try something else. So I have been working on the project. I got my new coat on to show you. And the first setup I did was to display the transfer wear. And I had some little mini pine cones that you might remember from my original thrifted, styling thrifted decorations video that I got those at a garage sale. So I styled those up on the shelf in our fireside room. You can take a look at that. And then I, next I spray painted those little ornaments that I got for free. Well, the star ones I painted. The ornaments, the vintage ones, I just hung those. I used some fishing line and I styled them over a, it's a sewing cabinet in my kitchen. So I had it, it's very, I love the 3D look. So it kind of looks like it's snowing all around there. And I had enough left over that I'm gonna do it at another place, I think in my living room. Same idea, taking the fishing line, just use a piece of scotch tape. The big stars were too heavy for the scotch tape, so I would use a push pin for those or maybe a command strip or something like that, command hook. Next, I went ahead and I dealt with the chalkboards. Now I'd gotten these patent prints and I will link the source for you guys. I'm guessing they're still available, but they were free and you can print them off at Office Max or Kinko's or whatever you want. So I printed it on really heavy paper and then had these, I had them last year and never used them. So this year I thought I'll pull these out and I just used packing tape and I just tacked them in different spots. So I kind of wanted them like opening up like a scroll with a little bit of a 3D feel going on and I just stuck those right on those two chalkboards and styled them up on my piano and I really like how unique they look. So that's a fun idea for you guys. For the pillows, I wasn't sure about the green that I actually liked it, so I ended up waiting on that. You may see those pop up later in the month with my living room tour. But I wasn't sure I actually liked how that looked. I did turn the red and gray checkered fabric into throw pillows, and I really love those. Then I tackled the gifts. Okay, so there was the little kitchen towel that with the candle idea, so I showed, showed you how I did both of those. 
Then for my sister-in-law, I had that cute pad with the mug and the candle. So that came together as a nice little gift. And last was the little setup that I had for my nieces and nephews. So the little caddy, I just tucked some tissue paper in there. I think yellow would be cute. I might go get some yellow tissue paper. And then I found these totally cute little raspberry blackberry candies, which are old. I used to have them when I was little, and I still think they're super cute little little like, natural farmy touch. So I added some of those in with a little bug house and a little birdhouse that my daughter painted. So it all came together, everything's color coordinated, kind of kind of the gardening outdoor theme, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. The last thing I did was to take these embroidery hoops and turn them in to simple wreaths. So you can just take some cedar, I had some faux cedar that I hot glued on. Looking at the finished look now, I feel like I could have used a little less cedar, so that might be a tip for you. And I also would turn my little deer to face the trees instead of away from the trees. So I might go back and switch that. But I got some cute little woodland animals. I have a little fox that I'm gonna use on, a, on the smaller hoops. And I think it'd be cute to hang these all together on a wall in my house somewhere. So that was pretty much it. I added in some bottle brush trees and I have this beautiful red and white ribbon. And I really love the simplicity of it. And it's just super sweet. It has sort of a Swedish touch and it's, trendy and cute and inexpensive, so great project for you guys. All right, so before you head out, I do have a copy that you can grab in a link, the link below. It is my checklist for thrifting, when you're out thrifting, this is these are the things that I look for, these are the prices that I look for, and you can print that off and have that on hand for you when you're out thrifting in either thrift stores or garage sales and estate sales. So have fun with that. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas edition of styling your thrifted decorations, and we'll be back first of next month tackling some new ones for January. All right, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I will see you soon.